The Simscape add-on libraries include advanced components and effects. The blocks are more comprehensive. A single block can represent an entire four-way directional valve. The blocks also include additional parameterization options. This makes it easier for you to assign accurate parameter values based on datasheets or other sources of information you may have. The blocks also include additional physical effects. This includes friction losses, thermal dependency, and other effects found in physical systems. And using the add-on libraries, you can also do multi-body simulation. I'll now switch over to the model to show you some examples. In our model of the hydraulic lift, we have modeled each of the physical components by assembling blocks from the Simscape Foundation Library. In our model of the four-way directional valve, we have modeled the path for the hydraulic fluid from the pump to the A and B ports and back to the tank using variable area orifices. And we have converted the motion of the spool to the area of these orifices using physical signal library blocks. This would have been much easier had we used the add-on library Simscape Fluids. In Simscape Fluids, there's an entire valve library dedicated toward the modeling of directional valves. This entire set of blocks could have been replaced by a single four-way directional valve block. We'll go to the top level of the model, and using a MATLAB command, we will override the variant and use a standard block from Simscape Fluids. Now when we go in here, we can see that the standard variant is active where we have used a four-way directional valve. When we click on it, you can see the different parameterization options. These options make it easy for us to assign accurate parameter values no matter which data sheet we're using or if we only have measured data. Let's take a look at the hydraulic actuator. Our double acting hydraulic cylinder has been modeled using variable volume chambers from the Simscape Foundation Library. In Simscape Fluids, there's an entire library dedicated towards modeling hydraulic actuators, including a double acting hydraulic cylinder. So we can go back to our model and use a MATLAB command to enable the other variant, which uses the double acting hydraulic cylinder from the Simscape Fluids library. The same applies to electrical and mechanical systems. If we look at our model of the DC motor, we used electrical and mechanical components from the Simscape Foundation library to model the electrical circuit, the mechanical system, as well as the gear model. If we look in the add-on library for Simscape Electronics, we can see there's an entire library of motor models that we could have used. In the Simscape Driveline add-on product, there's an entire library of gears that has additional effects. So we'll go to the top level of this model, activate the other variant, and now we'll see that we have used a DC motor model from Simscape Electronics that has additional parameterization options and effects. Similarly, we've used a rack and pinion block from Simscape Driveline, which allows us to easily include friction losses into our system. Finally, we'll take a look at three-dimensional mechanical modeling. Modeling the load in Simscape, we have simply used a mass, a force due to gravity, and a translational damper. We could create a much more accurate model of the scissor jack using Simscape Multibody. Here we can model solids, joints, and other types of constraints to create a three-dimensional mechanical model. Going to the top level, we'll activate the other variant, and when we go into here, we can see that now our scissor lift is modeled using different parts that we have, that we have assembled together and joints that define how those parts move with respect to one another. This Simscape multibody model also creates for us a three-dimensional animation of our scissor jack connected to the rest of the system. So in this example, we have seen how we can enhance each of the components using blocks from the add-on libraries. The one add-on library we haven't used yet in our model is Simscape Power Systems. Simscape Power Systems has more advanced components in the electrical area for modeling three-phase mechanical machines and generators, as well as simplified models of semiconductors and power transmission devices. Here is a summary of the modeling capabilities in Simscape and its add-on products. The Simscape platform has libraries in a number of different physical domains, and you can add your own custom domains and components using Simscape language. In the Simscape add-on products, you will find more advanced components and capabilities such as three-dimensional modeling and animation in Simscape Multibody and a range of analysis tools in Simscape Power Systems. Simscape enables you to take full advantage of the advanced capabilities in the Simscape add-on products without purchasing the full set of licenses. You can share models with other Simscape users.
They can run simulations, analyze results, and generate code from models that include the Simscape add-on products, even if they haven't purchased licenses for the Simscape add-on products. Your model developers produce models that use Simscape and the add-on products. When those models are saved in restricted mode, they can be shared with other Simscape users who have the product add-on products installed, even if they haven't purchased the additional Simscape add-on licenses. This table summarizes the capabilities that one has in full mode or in restricted mode, and your model users who are working in restricted mode can still access quite a bit of capability, including changing numerical parameters in Simscape and Simscape add-on libraries, accessing the Power GUI in Simscape Power Systems, and viewing 3D animations in the Mechanics Explorer of Simscape Multibody. You can also generate code for hardware in the loop and other use cases. There's still quite a bit of functionality that can be accessed in restricted mode.